This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 11, Deleting Records, Puzzle 7, Making the Delete Button Work. So if you don't have stuff in a working app, you've skipped a whole lot of things and need to go back and do that. So you are keeping the index of the current object as a global variable called current index. That's true. It's way up here. Global because it's declared at the top of our program, making it accessible to everything. Any function can reassign or delete or yeah, all that from it. Uh, the, thus, the current object on the show contact screen is found at records current index. Yes, whatever this is set to and then records. Records is what is returned, remember, by our uh, by the function when we ask the server for our my contact object right when we get the data the data table records is that object it is what is returned to us it's called records um, it's the array of the information so notice that because records current index contains an id of the object you hope to delete you don't need to make any changes to the object before sending it huh right you just need to send the object got it your code should end up looking uh, to make the delete button work, we simply send the object we want to delete, delete record, yeah, yeah. Your code should end up looking similar to the code depicted in the image. Here are the steps. Add an event handler for the delete button. Got it. So, on event, I'm just going to scroll down. On event, somewhere up here. Sure. And then, what event? Well, when the delete button, which, let's see, delete. Up oh, there's my delete button. Delete button is clicked. Yep. What do I want to do? Make a variable called object to delete. That's a copy of the object at the current index. Ah, and they have an example here. So variable obg to delete. Okay. And then I want to get the so my array, contacts, remember, is the array that is being used, <clears throat> right, contacts, and it's global as well because we declare contacts up here. And so our array can be accessed by everything, and we set that to be equal to the records that are returned from the, the uh, which is the array of all that info and are returned from the server. It's the database that's returned, and then we assign that to contacts. So contacts is really all the database that we get back from our server, right? So way back down here, we are going to delete contacts and then whatever our current index is because we modify that by adding or subtracting throughout our program and different functions. So the way we keep track of that is the global variable current index, boom. So we got that, and we assigned the object to the current index, and then we're going to pass that to delete. So we need a delete record from data inside of this. Yep, great. And my contacts is the array. And, uh, well, is the, the, stuff we store right that's what we're storing on the server my contacts and then what do we want to delete well we want to delete object to delete i wonder though it's interesting to me that we declared this variable because we i believe could have just gone contacts current index but maybe we're doing that for clarity and then delete record they don't need they deleted their parameter and they said refresh local data. Right, that makes sense because we want to use our refresh local data function that we made that will update the local um, copy of the information that's used to display, right? So our that is what contacts array is equal to. So we're going to reset the contacts array to be equal to the records that are returned from the server because we're deleting something from the server and we want to make sure the local copy of those records also have that deleted. All right, let's give it a shot.
Let's see. I just want to double check my contacts. What do we got here? Bob's what we're going to delete because he's never had an image. All right, let's try. Uh, code maybe? Eh, it shouldn't matter. All right, I'm going to go click. So here are all our people. There's Bob. Let's see if it's gone. No Bob. Now let's check the data. Friend 2, right? Bob was at 1. What if I hit reset? Run it again. Awesome. Wow. Right? So this is really cool. It's actually, uh, well, a contacts app. It works like an app should. Huh. Cool. Uh, and that's it for lesson 11. So, yeah. It was really just getting what they had added. Let's uh, keep going.